now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at actually setting up our Wii Remote or make, connecting with our PC and this is, happens all over Bluetooth so what you need to do is install your Bluetooth software I've currently got my Bluetooth software installed I'll show you my program this is the program, the software that I just got with my Bluetooth device and it, as I've said, it enables you to sy synchronize Bluetooth devices to your PC. So what I'm now going to do is plug in my Bluetooth device. And it's just detecting it, starting the synchronization. And it's just setting up the Bluetooth network. Now that that's done, I'm going to start scanning for actual Bluetooth devices and to do this I click on the orange dot so I just click on it, I press 1 and 2 on my Wii Remote and just wait, there you go. see it's detected it, I double click on my Wii Remote there and then it finds it, I then right click, click on connect and I connect to my Bluetooth device and now it's gone green and it's connected and now I'm just going to just do a simple bit of code just to make sure I've got my Wii Remote connected this is basically the first LED, I'm setting it to true, which basically means I'm switching the first LED on. Now, nothing actually happened, and the reason this is, in, in this case, I've actually already synchronized my Wii Remote once before to my PC. In fact, I've synchronized both of my Wii Remotes to my PC before. And currently, I have only got the second Wii Remote actually on me and that's the one that I've just synchronized and GlovePi remembers the order of the Wii Remotes that you've synchronized so if I am now to change this Wii Remote 1 to a Wii Remote 2 then the LED lights up because I've got the second Wii Remote in so that's just a bit of troubleshooting if you ever have problems with GlovePi in the future and you can't understand why this is one of the reasons um, when you first synchronize your Wii Remote Windows will detect it as uh, an input device in fact I'll actually show you this I'll load up the joystick panel and you'll see that it's detected two Bluetooth HID joysticks and that's what the Wii Remote's actually viewed as. Um, however, if I just show you the options for this, you'll see that under settings and tests there is absolutely nothing you can do with it. You can't actually mess around with any of the settings because it doesn't detect any type of input. Windows does not detect that. However, of course, by using GlovePi, we can actually make our own scripts because GlovePi knows what data to read, read from the Wii Remotes. So that's really all there is to syncing the Wii Remotes together. Now, I'm just going to briefly go over the Wiimote 1 and 2 and so forth. This number here, you see we have the Wiimote, which is the name of the remote, and then we put a number on the end, and this signifies which, num which remote control you want to use i.e. the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one and so on um, GlovePi supports up to 8 now as I've already mentioned that the Wii Remote I've got in my possession at the moment is Wii Remote 2 uh, when you start off yours will be Wii Remote 1 if, if it's a first time installation and if that's the case you don't even have to put a number on the end because GlovePi automatically detects the Wii Remote that you've got but so that's really all there is to syncing up your Wii Remotes so from this point on what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at actual some pr scripting in GlovePi and hopefully you'll learn quite a lot from this, th this course of tutorials.